We commemorate this anniversary, as every year, with terrible sadness. We feel very keenly the absence of all of those who lost their lives and the suffering of all those who were injured. And we wonder, again, how could this have happened? United Nations international staff from all corners of the world, leaving behind their homes and families, coming to Baghdad to rebuild a damaged nation. United Nations national staff working to help their own country recover from conflict. All of them trying with limited resources and unlimited determination to deliver on their honorable mission. How could they have fallen victim to the violence they tried to stop? That Baghdad bombing in August 2003 marked a step change in the global treatment of humanitarian workers. The years since 2003 have seen multiple attacks in which humanitarians, aid workers and other civilian colleagues working for peace have become targets worldwide. Since August 2003, more than 4,500 humanitarians have been killed or injured or detained, kidnapped or otherwise prevented from carrying out their life-saving work. Today, on World Humanitarian Day, it's appropriate that we remember two United Nations colleagues in other field missions whose lives have been sacrificed. As we stand here today, gathered in resolve and determination to uphold the UN Charter and our pledge to humanity, let us remember the sacrifices of our friends and colleagues and pay tribute to their service to peace. In the street.